up, what's up? This is Andre from The First Minute. All right, today's topic is comparing compound interest and compound fitness. So compound interest, um, let's say you invest in a stock, you earn interest on that stock, so you have gains, hopefully. Then the next time you earn interest, it's on your new amount that includes your gains. So you're going to get even more gains if you keep gaining because your balance is more. Same thing with compound fitness. Uh, I was talking to some guys I was working out with this morning, actually. And I've been working out since the eighth grade, so that's what, 14 years. I'm 38 now, so 24 years. So consistently, I've been working out for 24 years. I think I've taken a week off in that whole span. And with that, you can really see the results. You can see the results in your body. You can see the results in how, how fast uh, you get a pump, how fast you your look changes um, that's because I've stayed consistent over the years same thing with investing um, also another correlation to compound interest versus compound fitness is that there's peaks and valleys right they always tell you to ride the wave in finances so a valley in fitness could be an injury so if I get injured you know I recover and I come back I don't I just don't stop working out you know all together just like I'm not just gonna right now pull out my money at the first sign of it declining you know because then I don't achieve those gains you know there's peaks peaks there's peaks and there's valleys in fitness and in finance um, another correlation I was talking about is the way you invest when you're younger is different than the way you invest when you're older so you're not gonna invest in a risky stock as you get older because you're about to retire, obviously. Same thing with fitness. The way I worked out when I was 20 was way riskier than the way I'm working out now. You know, now I'm not maxing out. I'm doing eight to 12 reps, sometimes, you know, 15, 20, you know, four to six. But I'm never doing a one rep max. Never doing a one rep max. So my way of lifting is not as risky as it was before. Compound interest versus compound fitness, the same concept. So just keep investing in your fitness year by year by year by year, and then you'll see the results. One more correlation is with compound interest with stocks. You don't want to look at the stock every day and see what's going on. It drives you crazy, right? You get stressed out. Same thing with fitness. Like if I want to achieve certain goals, you know, if I want to lose weight, I'm not going to weigh myself every day because that just heightens my cortisol level, my stress level, and it actually can have a negative effect on me achieving my goal. So I tell my clients, you know, at the most, weigh yourself once a week. Um, and with stocks, you know, I'm not checking it every day because, you know, I could just go crazy and say, all right, I'm finished, I'm pulling it out. And then I miss the opportunity for even more gains. That's about it, baby, the first minute Compound inches versus compound fitness, one and the same to stay consistent. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Go get it, attack mode, yep.